the topic we have today is how to group numerical values by creating a tech category column so we can create slicers to filter them. We will use VLOOKUP approximate match to create the categories. At the end, we will learn how to create or to format slicers so colors will dynamically change when hovering or selecting values. So let's go. Let's create this uh, slicer. So first, we will need to create the category column. So since this is already uh, an Excel table, it automatically expands. We'll use VLOOKUP and then we will choose the table uh, array, press the F4 to lock them all and then just press enter. So all the categories will be automatically populated on that category column. Let's insert a slicer. Let's choose the category, press OK. And we'll do a little bit of formatting to this category by taking off the headers and uh, we'll increase the columns. Okay, untick display header, press OK. And we'll in increase the column uh, number to 3 and also the height and the width. So we'll just resize it and let's check. So now it responds to our slicers. So next thing that uh, we can do is of course to change the formatting of the slicers. So we just selected the dark color and um, as you see when I hover it, we can see the yellow color. We can modify the formatting and let's duplicate it. So we'll rename it My Slicer. Click OK. And now we select it. And then we can now modify it. So let's try to modify first the whole slicer. Let's put a gray background and take off the borders. And then the font, we choose a body. And then we'll just click OK. And OK. Now let's try again. So we can still see uh, that there is the yellow background color. So probably we'll just want to take it off by changing the hover selected item with data and then the hovered and selected item with data we'll do the hovered selected item with data first let's do format and let's go to fill and the fill effects now let's choose the color blue so it um, complements with our uh, header colors so i think horizontal should be fine and let's click ok and click ok and then the next one is the hovered unselected item with data so same process we'll go to fill effects we'll choose the uh, blue and then we'll choose the pale blue and then we we'll just hit ok and ok so let's try how it looks like so as you can see the color yellow is now being replaced by the blue ones now if, if we would like to add additional formatting for those selected item with data we can modify again the slicer and then add probably an underline for those selected item with data for this time, we will go to the font tab, and then we'll select um, we'll select underline. We'll just select single, click OK, and then OK. So as you can see now, those selected values already uh, now has the underline uh, formats. 
So this is our uh, topic for today. Thank you for watching and see you next time.